In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate interest in a question. So in example one, 30,000 Rand is invested for eight years. After eight years, the investment is worth 65,000 Rand. And we want to calculate the simple interest rate that would take 30,000 Rand to 65,000 Rand. So we're starting with simple interest. So now 30,000 Rand is what goes into your account and 65,000 Rand is what you get out at the end. So 65,000 will be your A value and 30,000 will be your P value and we're going to substitute them in with 8 years. So we end up with 65,000 is equal to 30,000 times 1 plus I times 8. And the first thing we want to get rid of is the 30,000. So we will divide by 30,000 on the left hand side and we end up with 65,000 divided by 30,000 is equal to 1 plus i times 8. The next thing you want to take across is the 1 and finally you want to divide by 8. So you end up with 8i is equal to 7 over 6 or your answer could be in decimals just don't round off at this stage and if you divide by 8 you end up with i is equal to 0, 0,1458. Now remember to use interest, we always express it as a decimal, but now they want to know the actual interest rate. So we want to know the percentage. So to get there, we will multiply by 100. And you end up with an interest rate of 14,58%. Let's take the same example, but figure out how much compound interest would give us 65,000 Rand after eight years. So our compound interest formula, the number of years is an exponent. And again, 65,000 Rand is what is coming out, so it's the A value, and 30,000 Rand is your P value. And if we substitute in, we've got 65,000 is equal to 30,000, 1 plus I to the power of 8. And the order of calculations is just slightly different. The first thing we want to do, again, is get rid of that 30,000, so we will divide by 30,000 on the left-hand side. But the next thing we have to get rid of is the exponent. So to get rid of an exponent, I will root the other side. So I have to find the eighth root of the fraction. The eighth root of that fraction will give me 1, 10147. And the last thing I do is take across 1. So I end up with 0, 10147. But I want, to exp I want my answer as a percentage. So I will multiply by 100. And I get 10,15% if I round it to two decimal places. So you will see I actually need a lower interest rate if it's going to be compounded because I'm earning interest on interest. So I only need an interest rate of 10,15% if it's compounded compared to 14,5% if it's going to be simple interest. Example 2 is a very, very common question that's asked in tests and exams. And it asks us to calculate an annual interest rate, compounded annually, that would double an investment over a seven-year period. So what makes this question slightly tricky is they don't tell us how much is going into the account. So we can choose an amount. You can choose. If you deposit 100 Rand, 200 Rand comes out. You could put in 400 Rand, but then 800 Rand comes out. You can put in X Rand, to look at it in general terms, and then 2X will come out. But the easiest thing to do is to put one rand into the bank account and two rand comes out. So as long as the investment is doubling, you will get the correct answer. All right. So we want to use the compound interest formula because the interest is being compounded annually. The investment is going to double over a seven year period. So if I put one rand into the bank account, two will come out. And my exponent should be a 7 because it's over a 7 year period that the investment will double. Now the one in front of the bracket is actually not going to change the calculation in any way. So we can ignore it. So the first thing we need to get rid of is that exponent of 7. How do I get rid of an exponent? Well, I use the same root on the other side. So I'm going to find the 7th root of 2. So if I find the 7th root of 2, and just be careful on your calculator, don't go 7 times root 2. You actually have to choose a special button on your calculator, the 7th root of 2. And you should get 1,10408 with some more decimals. So don't round off yet. You don't want to round off too early. 
The next thing I want to do is subtract 1 to get i on its own. And then I get 0, 10408. And you'll notice I still haven't rounded off. Because I want the interest rate. And interest rate is expressed as a percentage. So to get that decimal fraction to a percentage, we're going to multiply it by 100. And now we can round off to two decimal places. And we end up with 10,41%. So you just have to be careful not to round off too early. Only round off when you can actually finally write your answer as a percentage. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share and subscribe.